Also, the Dragon is over, but I'm gonna keep covering the show, so I thought I'd do some show rankings, starting with the top five fighters in the show so far. Now, I know it's a small sample size, as it's only been one season, but as of now, these are my top five fighters in the show version of these characters, so make sure to keep that in mind. Starting with number five, Corliss Velaryon, the greatest sailor who ever lived and the captain of the Nine Voyages. Corliss has seen plenty of action. Although he is older in the events of the show, we see that he can still throw hands in episode 3 during the Battle of the Stepstones. And next we hear of him, he gets injured in another battle against the Triarchy, but he was able to beat them back, this time with no help of Damon and Caraxes and Laner and Sea Smoke. So even though he's older, he can still scrap. At number 4, I have Breakbones, the strongest knight in the realm, and it's not just because his name is strong. We see him ragdoll some homies in the wedding fight to save Rhaenyra, and he does get some big hits against Kristen Cole, although admittedly he did let himself get taken down and hit, but he's a solid number 4. And number three gets tougher, but I'm going based off experience. For my top three, I put the least experienced here. So this is Aemon Targaryen's spot. He became obsessed with training ever since he claimed Vagar, and he was personally trained by one of the best fighters in the show, which is Kristen Cole. So he does have a lot of credibility. We've only seen a little bit of his skills, but what we have seen, we know he can fight. What he displays against Kristen Cole in episode six is enough to show us that he's actually a really good fighter. And number two, just by a smidge, I put Daemon Targaryen, the wielder of Dark Sister, the one-man army whose pure rage can probably take down anyone. However, when it comes to skill, there is a knight who I think still has the edge in the show. So although Daemon is the dragon on the battlefield, and there's no denying he might be one of the best fighters we've seen in Game of Thrones universe, he is a tough man to beat, but there is one man that beats him, and that is my number one spot, the wielder of the Morning Star, whose only good quality is his skills in battle sir Kristen cole is my number one best fighter in the show although the man is a clown in his daily life on the battlefield he's a versatile warrior with skills and various weapons and with the knowledge to take down an army he's strong as hell and is crafty in a fight the man is a tank and he is my number one fighter in house of the dragon